Hello, my beautiful friends. This is part two. Who knew we needed part two? But I, I realized after I made the first video that you might want some help on how to read some of the longer documents that might come out in your notebook. So Google, uh, of course, you put your own notes in. Maybe they're PDFs or things that you're that you're adding. Or Google has found you some things. I'm just using a different notebook because so, it had more examples of PDFs in it. So, um, you know, you don't have time to read all of that. So how can you summarize it? Well, my friend uh, Guru Tech over on his channel, uh, which I'm going to link below, please like and subscribe. And the prompt that I'm using is his and it's in his video and you can get it there and copy and paste it for yourself. Um, he has a really handy way of getting notes from a PDF. So what do you do? First thing you do is you open up Gemini. And then I have his prompt copied here in my, my notepad so I can use it later. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Google Gemini. I'm going to paste it in. And remember, you can get this prompt in his video. You want to make sure that you change tools to Canvas so that it makes something um, image based. You're going to add up the file that you want it to summarize, the long PDF, which this is it right here. Now I added in this line because when I first did it, it didn't, I had to uh, tweak the code a little bit and we don't want you to have to tweak the code tweak the code at all. So I just added this line to the end of it. Include all code in one HTML file with CSS, which is design, and JavaScript, which is how things move, with no external dependencies. And that'll make a difference in a minute if you want to print it out or whatever. So uh, you have your file, you have your prompt, and now you're going to let it cook. And you're going to see that it's going to make the code first. And, and in his example, it actually makes the drawing first and then he converts it. But I do it this way because um, when I did it his way, it came up with some garbly, garbly gook. But it's going to do the handwritten study notes and it's all going to be in code. And you're going to be like, what are you we looking at, BRG? But in a second, you will know. So this works for any um, PDF document. We're going to test it to see if it works with a website, too. So here we go, handwritten notes. Beautiful, beautiful. Now you want to take this code. If you want, you can share this just um, on its own. You can just share the link or whatever. You can copy the contents, whatever. Um, you can go here to the code and you can copy this code. And I use, um, I'm on a, a PC, but if you have a Mac, you can do this on a Mac in notes. You're going to save it. I'm going to just save this as notes.html, and that's important. You have to save it as, oh, I already have something called notes. Let's call it notes2.html. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. And now you can see that it's here, and I can print. I can uh, print it as a PDF. I can print it as um, on my printer. Right, I can save it as a PDF, right? I am gonna save this as a PDF. I could also print it out on my printer. And um, I'm just gonna call this the PDF so I know when I'm looking for it. And I'm gonna put it on my desktop, there we go. All right, so I can take this then and I can put it back in my notebook. So I can add a source, I can upload a file Here's my file that I just made. I can open it. And now it's going to add it to my pile of stuff. And then I can use it for this over here, but I can also print it out and study. So it's a really cool, uh, cool hack. Now let's say um, you have a really big website. I wonder if it works. So um, I'm gonna start a new Gemini um, screen. I'm gonna take I am going to take the prompt, I'm going to copy it, but I'm going to have to adjust it. All right, so um, I'm going to say convert the URL, the material from the URL below 
and and so instead of a PDF, I'm asking it to look at a website. So let's see if this works. I have no idea. So I know a chonker of a website is a Carmina Gadelica. Right? So I know that this is a huge, huge chonker, right? So I want to go, I want to go to the main Carmina Gadelica page. This is just one of the All right, so we're going to take this and we'll see what Google does with it. Now remember, I have to put in here, please make the final file, HTML with CSS and JavaScript included with no external dependencies. And it's okay if you spell things wrong, as, a, as if you know from my channel, I'm the worst typist in the world, but it will work it out. So let's see if it can do it. I have no idea if it can. <clears throat> we'll check it out. We're going to Scooby-Doo this together. And this really is the process of how I learn things. I see it on a video. I try it myself. I try to adapt it in other ways that are useful to me, and then I share it with you. So that's what we do. Um, so it says it's, it's working. Let's see if it's working. I mean, in real life, the, the Carmina Gadelica is a chunker of a book. So I would, I'm interested to see how this goes. It might be too big of a book. I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see. Is the code done? Okay, code's done. All right, we're going to copy the code, toss it into... A note, save as communicadelica.html, and let's see what happens. Well, it's certainly, wow. Hmm. Wow. It, I mean, that's a big fat chunker so I don't know if this is absolutely complete but I could play around with that prompt if I wanted to and ask a better question if I wanted more detail about you know summarize all the kinds of poems that are about cows and St. Bridget or Archangel Michael or whatever right I could I could uh, work with that prompt to get a little bit more specific information but overall it does work so thank you uh, Guru Tech and uh, please like and subscribe to his channel, which will be linked below. And I am wishing you all the very best and brightest. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.